Hi, welcome to my PHP tutorial. We are going to talk about MySQL database. This is a list of suggestions how we should use this video. The notes for this video can be found at this URL. It is case sensitive, which is loaded here. We are going to do MySQL, which is step three. Okay, ultimately we are going to um, create example to link to the MySQL database so first we need to start our Apache web server and MySQL database okay actually it's a MariaDB database but I'm just going to call it MySQL for the, for the, for, for the sake of um, tradition okay all right so now we launch the MySQL database. You should see no error message. So what are we going to do? Right? And all the commands I do here can be found here. Step three. Like all the commands I type can be found here. Okay. So before we actually go into PHP by admin, I want to show everybody that there is a way to do it in command prompt, which is how MySQL database administrators used to work or any database administrators used to work it's under a command prompt so if you click on shell you will see your um, I call that a command prompt but some people like to call that CMD prompt or shell whatever you like to call it okay um, so first let me make the text bigger so that everybody can see so if you right click if you right click here look at properties right click look at properties you can actually change the font size let me let's say i want to change the font size to 28 um, you can change the font but um, a fixed width font like consulus is good there are options like what kind of buffer size number of buffers layout all this stuff let's say i change the font to 28 okay so my screen become bigger and i can play with stuff like um, my width is a what is my width my window size a 100 well, my window becomes smaller and to change my phone to something even bigger okay now so now the first thing you want to do is you want to log in okay when you create a MySQL database the first time you will have a user actually it's called super user Uh, I mean user, super user, what you want to call it is root and the password is nothing okay, yes, you heard it, nothing so probably we need to change the we we'll change the super user password okay but before we change the password to something the first thing we do is to create another super user I'm going to call this super user Harry and give it a password that people I'm going to give you a weird password called elbow monkey which is wrong spelling so that you try to be smart right I spell this word wrong nobody should spell it wrong so um, we're going to do that okay create a new super user before we change the old super user password which simply means that simply because the last thing you want is after you created your database you mess up your only super user password then you lock yourself out so that's that so we are going to create that all right to log in as root, we say mysql space minus u user root and one password minus p. It will say enter password and the password is nothing. Hey, you are in. Okay, if you want to get out, you just say exit. Oh, you are out. If you want to get back in again, you can type that again. Okay, to bring out that statement really fast you can use something called the up arrow and of course you can use the down arrow to get the periods commands 
all down arrows the next command right. so you go in again password is nothing so now you are in okay once you are in you want to change you want to create another user okay so um, SQL is partly case sensitive okay some of the things like um, um, table names, row names can be case sensitive. Certain things like um, commands are not case sensitive, so to be safe, I just treat it case sensitive. Okay, so I don't have to think too much. Grant all the privileges on all the database to a guy, a user named Harry. Okay, this localhost is the MySQL database localhost, not the um, Apache web server localhost. They are called localhost, but they are different stuff. Password. Elbow monkey wrong spelling. Okay, so grant all privileges on everything to user Harry with the password elbow monkey with grant G-R-A-N-T options so that he can grant um, other users. Okay, so when you see that, you know that you have an error. So what you need to do is bring out the period statement and say, where is my error? They say, oh, it's near options. So then you check the syntax, go online, look for the syntax, or look at the MySQL menu. You realize, oh, I put S. Who need S, right? Irritating. Why do you need S? Why English have S anyway? So, OK. Query is OK, so I created a user called Harry. So now you can look at things like I want to see what are the databases show databases oh I have a couple of databases in my MySQL server I have um, a s um, database called MySQL that store all the MySQL information probably I shouldn't touch it I have something called PHP Miami and I have a database called test so you can create database right I can create a database called sample Okay, now if you show database again, you will see that there's a database called sample here that you just created. Okay, and you can get out and get in again. All right. Okay, we can get out and get in again and do some stuff before we change the password right. okay so let's get out and this time I'm going to try to get in as Harry so I say I want to User is Harry and password is Elbow Monkey. Oh, I'm in. Now I can show databases again. Okay. And I realized I created a database for sample when I was still root. Now let's say I want to create a table in the sample. Okay. Um, so I want to say I want to use. Oh, before I use sample, let me show um, how to use a database. Okay. So let's say I want to use MySQL database. Okay, it is changed. And under MySQL, so you know that you're looking at MySQL now here. Instead of none, you're looking at MySQL. And then you say, I want to show tables. Oh, there are a lot of tables. 
one of the table is called user table, probably is very useful. Okay, when you say show tables, you look at user table. So you can say, I want to describe the user table. Oh, there's a lot of fields in the user table here. Okay, user and password probably is useful. So I can say, I want to select. Select username and password from the user table. You see, like you see that you have root, you have Harry, and all of this stuff. Harry has a password. Root later we need to create one. Okay. Before we move on, I want to um, before we move on to change the password, I want to I want to create a table in sample. Okay, you can show the basis. Uh, I want to use the sample database. Okay, and I want to um, create a table. Okay, I want to call the table domains. The table domains has a, has a couple of fields. Okay, one is called, I'm going to create a couple of fields for domains table. And um, domains table, I'm going to create a field called ID. I'm going to create a field called domain. I'm going to create a few called sex, male or female. I'm going to create a few called male. Okay? And they have properties. And then we can put in values here. Okay, let's do that. So I say I want to create a table called domains with the ID is an integer. It cannot be empty. Auto increment. Okay, hit enter. If you don't put semicolon, you hit enter, you can keep typing other things. And my primary key is, is ID. Second is um, domain is a variable character. Bar chart of 20 characters, max. Sex is a character of one characters. Okay. Oops. I press the up arrow to that ID. Mail is large of twenty characters. close he enter if nothing goes wrong um, you created a table and um, okay I, I put extra space uh, I, I put space here but no space here it doesn't matter the syntax is the syntax is um, both syntax only. okay so now you can um, show tables in sample you have domains and you can describe your domain Okay, so this is what you have just created here. It's shown here. And then you can do things like select star from domains. Obviously, there's nothing there. Okay, but you can also insert things into domains by um, putting in values and all of this stuff. Okay, so I created a simple, HTML, uh, simple MySQL table using MySQL statements this way. So finally, I want to change password of root. Okay, after all the funny things, I just want to change the password of root to something called root pass. Okay. To do that, um, 
probably I should just use my strap again. All right, and then I can say show tables again. I want to basically there is something called a user table, right? Um, I want to describe the user table and I want to change the username and password which user and password which are which are two fields okay so I say I want to select user and password user I want to, select, I want to change the password for root to do that I can say Change user, change the user root password to root pass, save, and you want to flush privileges to refresh this. Okay, and now when you if you do not flush, you will have to shut down your server and restart the server. It's okay for a testing server like this one, but it's not okay when you're writing, running a live server, okay? Alright, so I want to select user, so it's good to flush. Um, select user password from user, you can... Hey, the rule is changed! Very good, to test that, probably I should get out and try to get in again. So it's root pass now. Yeah, I'm in. So now I created a, I used the shell, I introduced the basic commands of shell. You can find it here and here. Okay, and I also did um, change the super user password. I created a database for sample. I created a table for domains. Okay, and I created another super user called Harry. All right, let me delete this. So, and I managed to log in using the new root password. Let me get out. Okay. Oh, another thing. Okay. Another thing is you can use help. Okay. Help is a good. Help is a good command. Right. Okay, that's a good place to stop. Um, let me close this. In the next video, we are going to carry on to talk about MySQL database. Thanks for watching. Bye.